Hi, I'm Jack Sedretti. Thank you for listening to Music News and watching us on Music News. Subscribe right here. Take it easy. Jack, you too, man. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. We're here at the uh, launch party on Black Heat. So are you looking forward to the event? Yeah, I can't wait. It's a great lineup. Cool festival. I love everything. I love the association with food too. So I'm a big fan of Natasha Corrett who's going to be cooking. So it's going to be great. How, how did you get involved in the event? We got asked to do it. Like all festivals, it's the festivals in the UK are a huge part of the summer. But it's nice when you come across an invitation where you really want to go and this is one of those festivals that looks really good so far, so good. Yeah, we're on the top of John Lewis here, looking yeah. quite uh, tropical actually. It's cool, very cool. <laughs> and uh, anyway, your fourth album, Rain in Stars, just came out in February. For someone that hasn't heard it yet, how, how would you sort of sum it up? Um, it's an album that, like every, like all the albums I do, kind of talks about what I got to do to get to make these albums. Um, it's fun, funny because I ended up, I started being a songwriter because of the things I was seeing. And then I've ended up becoming a songwriter about the things that happen to me on a daily basis. And a lot of it is to do with the struggle of just trying to be who you want to be. And a lot of that for me is making music. So it's, it's an album about a musician just wanting to make music, basically. <laughs> Uh, but in that is other different angles, but it's an album which I hope inspires people to go out and follow whatever it is they're trying to catch. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is there a sort of central message as such then? I think the central message is don't give up. I don't ever approach an album with a central message, but I could only say this looking back on it. I think it's an album where it's called Written in Scars. I'm trying to say, look, I've taken a beating, but I'm proud of it. and. I'm here to talk about it for whoever wants to listen. Exactly. Uh, mate, you had a good year. You played the sold out date of the Shepherds Bush Empire, played Glastonbury. How were those two dates? Amazing. There are some events that stick with you. There are some locations. Playing Glastonbury, I was invited on stage with Donovan at Glastonbury. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. Watching Lionel Richie and The Who on the same night at Glastonbury is something not many people can say they've done. So, yeah, it's been a good year. So far, so good. Is, is playing live the best bit for you? It's a huge part of it. It's one of the main reasons we do what we do, to get that feeling, you know, that buzz. That's why musicians are musicians, because when you play to a people, crowd of people and they give you back that feeling of they get it, that's the buzz of music. So that's a big part of it, but there's a lot of other sides to it too that I love. I love making records as well. Definitely. I mean, three or four years ago, you sort of almost sort of got a bit of this disillusioned, almost quit the music business. You sort of changed. I thought I was falling out of love with music and I realized that wasn't true. I was just falling out of love with the music business. I really didn't like it. I didn't like what I was seeing. I didn't think it was anything to do with why I was making music. So I couldn't understand why I had to be a part of it. Um, and then I decided to sort of build my own ship to sail through the industry, my own team. And from that, I've found myself working with amazing people because everybody working with us really wants to be there. And that's something that unfortunately in the past I hadn't encountered in the industry. I was working with a lot of people due to reputation, not due to their current state of mind. And I think it's important to work with people here and now, not about what they're going to do or what they did in the past. I like to know what we can do now. Who's, uh, who have you got lined up to work with in the future then? Well, I'm working with my producers, Sam Dixon, Matt, Matty Benbrook, uh, Pedro Vito and Sebastian Steinberg, who I did the last two, I did Written and Scars. Um, I'm back working with them. We have a great thing going. Uh, it's always good to get new guys on the team, but I love everybody that I work with right now. So we're just trying to build and just trying to use everybody's talent as much as possible and see how, how far we can go. You filmed the video to home at uh, General Football Stadium in Italy. And uh, it's the day, on that day they beat Juventus, which was very good. I'm a Torino fan, so that's well done. Perfect. They must be screaming for you to come back. Yeah, we will never go back again because that doesn't happen very often. So we're going to leave on a high. It was a, a miracle of a night. I loved it. Yeah, and yeah, now Genoa is family to me. Yeah, definitely. And uh, thinking up forward to the next album, what, what can we expect? And has any of it been written? I don't know yet. We're starting to write it. We're starting to record it. Um, I want every album to be better. So uh, when I say better, I mean better in the sense that I want to try things that I didn't know I could do or work with people I didn't know I could work with and just, just take it, keep pushing it. But it might end up being more humble, more aggressive, more, I don't know. 
let's see, it kind of depends on how the year pans out and what I end up writing about. Yeah, great. And uh, who are you listening to on a personal level at the moment? Right now I'm very obsessed with um, a guy called Sturgill Simpson. Uh, so he's amazing, American country singer. Another guy called Bones of J.R. Jones. And another wonderful singer-songwriter called Max Jury. Who I'm a big, yeah, I'm loving him. There's some great writers out right now and it's nice that they're getting heard. Fantastic. And what's the Jack Savaretti master plan? Is there any? There isn't one. Um, just survive tonight <laughs> and make sure that when I wake up tomorrow I'm still working. Good, good. I'm sure there's not going to be any problem. Well, thanks a lot for your time. It's been Thank you, man. You again. Thank uh, you. Um, if you had to choose three songs that sort of, that you'd say would sum you up across your whole career, across everything you've done, what three would you choose? Three of mine or three yeah. of somebody else's? Oh, man, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Because I, I would change that all the time. Yeah. I can name three in this album that were Other Side of Love was somewhere I went to where I didn't know I could go. Written in Scars was the title track, is the title track, but was also the song that playing my old style, I discovered a new style of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to express myself. And probably Home is, is the song that yeah, that was the first song in a, in a new style that I really found was really familiar. It was a song I'd always wanted to write. Excellent, thanks a lot for your time. Thank Anything you. else to say to News and News Thank you. How you doing? Thank you for listening. Stay tuned and yeah, keep listening. Take it easy, bye.